There is drama in the fountain pen community right now, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So one of the most popular inks that people like to use in their fountain pens is a release from 2016 called Lamy Dark Lilac. It's one of the richest, the deepest, the most beautiful purple inks that you can get out there. It was released in 2016 as a limited edition in tandem with this Lamy Safari Dark Lilac, and it sold out almost immediately. It was extremely popular. I tried to get a bottle, but it was sold out by the time I got to it. Recently, these old bottles have gone for about 10 times the original retail price. They are extremely valuable, extremely sought after. And recently, Lamy announced their new 2024 limited edition called Violet Blackberry. And people thought, oh, that's great. It's an homage to Lamy Dark Lilac. They're releasing a Violet Blackberry ink that's similar, but it's not exactly the same. However, a couple of weeks ago, a few retailers in Europe started listing the ink to go along with the new pen as Lamy Dark Lilac. This caused some confusion, but people assume like, oh, it's just a mistake. They're reposting the old listing and they'll change it soon. But people reached out to these EU retailers and their response they got was, no, Lamy is actually releasing Lamy Dark Lilac again. This is kind of similar to something Lamy did in the past. They had a turquoise ink and then there was a Pacific Blue limited edition. So they re-released turquoise under the Pacific Blue name. Maybe they're just releasing the new Violet Blackberry color under the Dark Lilac name, who knows? So people reached out to Lamy and Lamy said, yes, we are releasing Lamy Dark Lilac. And not only that, it is the original formulation. So people ended up ordering this ink from Europe, getting it in hand and doing comparisons to the original Dark Lilac. And it's different both to the original and to the new Violet Blackberry. It's a third ink. When I was planning this video, it was gonna sort of end here in confusion, but there are a couple of updates and they are contradictory. Lamy, that is based in Germany, says that this is a different formulation of Dark Lilac. The original red dye they used for the ink was discontinued, so they're having a slightly modified formulation. But the Lamy that's based in the US says it is the exact same formulation. And to my eye, I think this looks completely different. The shade of the purple color is different. It has green sheen instead of the golden sheen. Green sheen is much more common in purple inks, which is one of the reasons the original Dark Lilac was so beloved. And so to my eye, I think they are different formulations and that is unfortunate. But the question that I wanted to ask you was, do you think that Lamy should have done this? Regardless of the miscommunication, should they be releasing a beloved ink that was released as a limited edition in the past now as a main series ink with the same name but a different formulation. I can see why they did it, but it feels kind of weird to me. Now, I'll keep you updated as things progress with this. I think I have a sample of the old Dark Lilac sitting around somewhere and I'm gonna order the new bottle and try to do a comparison. But as for now, this is where things stand. There is an update to the Lamy Dark Lilac situation. I got in contact with Lamy Global and they had a few things to say. So first of all, like I suspected, they confirmed that the new 2024 Dark Lilac is different from the original 2016 release. They said that they tried to recreate the special color features from the 2016 release, but that some of the original dyes used in the 2016 formulation were no longer available. Additionally, they did apologize for the confusion and crucially, they said, we should have given our revised Dark Lilac release a different name. Now, I don't know if that's their official company stance or just the stance of the contact of the person that reached out to me from Lamy, but I think that it reflects the community response, which is, it looks like a great ink, but it's definitely not the same ink. Although more people have been getting their hands on the new version of Dark Lilac, which again is different from the new Violet Blackberry ink and different from the original 2016 Dark Lilac ink, and on some papers, it does look strikingly similar to the original 2016 edition, this sample, I don't know what paper it's on, but it's from fpc.ink, and it looks pretty similar. But crucially, the sheen of the ink, which is where the dye gets concentrated and reflects the light, is green on the new ink, not gold like the original Dark Lilac. And that was the main reason that the ink was so beloved, because there's really never been another purple ink to do that, which I think is why it was so difficult, and they never re-released it until now, because even they can't recreate their own ink, the dyes just aren't available anymore. It's a shame that that specific aspect of the original ink can't be recreated, but I guess it's just all the more reason to love the original release. Ultimately, I think it was great to see the community reaction to this. It was an interesting discussion to have about limited editions, about fear of missing out, and about what makes specific fountain pen ink special, and why so many people have been drawn to the fountain pen hobby in recent years. I have ordered the new ink. I'm gonna get it in hand, do some comparisons. Even though it's not the mythical Lamy Dark Lilac re-release that we all wanted, it still looks like it's a pretty good ink and I'm sure I'll enjoy it. 
I'm glad this situation has been sort of mostly resolved. Of course, comparisons are still to come, but I appreciate everyone's response to this. This has been a crazy situation to follow. It is here, the 2024 edition of Lammy Dark Lilac Ink. The story of this ink got published in the New York Times, so this has been quite a big deal. Let's try it out. So here is the ink. I gotta say, I love these Lamy bottles. They're very sort of utilitarian with the roll of blotter paper in the bottom. So, you know, you can clean up all the messes that you make. <laughs> all right, now let's ink up this 2016 Lamy Dark Lilac pen with the new ink. There we go. Now we can clean up our mess. I have to say, unfortunately, I can't find my original sample of the 2016 ink. I will keep searching for it, but in the meantime, let's take a look at this new version. Honestly, I gotta say it's a great ink. The shading is great. The sheen, obviously, on some papers, it's gonna look a little bit of a green shine to it. And the purple color is a tiny bit different, but I still gotta say it's a great ink. Now, just for fun, let's compare it to the new Violet Blackberry ink. You can see the new Violet Blackberry is much darker of a purple, although neither of these are <laughs> the mythical dark lilac of old. These are both really fantastic inks. I'm happy I have them both, and I can't wait to keep using them for a long time to come.